I'm Helen Pass. I'm a fellowship trained breast surgeon, chief of breast surgery, co-director of the Breast Center at Stanford Health. And I'm Leo Otake. I'm a staff plastic surgeon at Stanford Health. I'm fellowship trained in reconstructive microsurgery and I work at the Aesthetic Center in Darien. I am incredibly excited that Stanford Health now has the opportunity to offer women complex interventions for the treatment and prevention of lymphedema. We were very fortunate to recruit Dr. Otaki to our facility so that women no longer have to travel at a distance and can get this care here. I think we need to be very clear that we've got two different classes of patients. One who are at risk for the development of lymphedema, and that risk is so high I refer them to you for consideration of preventative surgery, and those who have gone on to develop lymphedema who were looking at a therapeutic intervention. So in certain cases, operations will inevitably damage or cut across these lymphatic channels, or in many cases, lymph nodes or groups of lymph nodes may be removed. In either circumstance, there is a risk of developing lymphedema. Right. I think in today's surgery, women who only get a sentinel node biopsy have a few lymph nodes. We're not talking about that subset. But women who we know have involvement of the lymph nodes are going on to get all their lymph nodes removed and maybe even get radiation on top of that. Um, we have found are at such exceedingly high risk for the development of lymphedema that they may benefit from these advanced surgical techniques. That's correct. In situations where we know where a large number of lymph nodes will be removed from a patient, and by association a large number of those lymphatic channels will either be cut or damaged, we can do a bypass from these cut lymphatic channels back to the veins to restore drainage and to reduce the risk of backing up the fluid resulting in lymphedema. These microsurgical techniques we arrange to have done at the time of their lymph node dissection, so we avoid a second surgery by doing it in a preventative manner um, as a two-team event. That's correct. Since we can work together as a team, we can divert the plumbing or do the bypass, again, to reduce the risk of lymphedema after the cancer portion of the surgical intervention has been completed. There's also another group of patients who have already developed lymphedema who also may benefit from enhanced surgical techniques. That's correct. Again, this is fundamentally an issue with plumbing. So there are options including bypassing the blocked lymphatic channels and diverting those block channels directly to the veins so as to provide effective drainage. Alternatively, if the swelling is consequence of removal of a large number of lymph nodes, with microsurgical techniques, it's also possible to transfer lymph nodes from one part of the body to another. So these women with swollen extremities who find it interferes with their quality of life and are willing to undergo an additional surgical procedure benefit from this uh, microsurgical technique to restore the continuity of the lymphatic system um, and often find it preferable to living with a swollen lymph. We can do the intervention at the time of the initial cancer operation, as in the case of the scenario Dr. Pass indicated. However, if someone has developed lymphedema as a consequence of a surgery that they've had months or even years in their past, it is possible to utilize these microsurgical interventions to provide effective relief. The utility has been demonstrated and women are finding good outcomes from these interventions. The exciting part about treating women with breast cancer is that our technology, our interventions, and our knowledge continue to evolve. So just like we don't do modified radical mastectomies anymore, um, we shouldn't say to a woman, you're lucky to be alive and you should just live with lymphedema. We should look at ways to improve her quality of life. With Dr. Pass and the team that she's assembled here, we have a fully comprehensive suite of therapeutic options and interventions for breast cancer patients at Stanford Health. Each patient is unique in terms of the specific intervention which would be best suited for treating their lymphedema. Individual consultations can be scheduled with me. You can contact me at Dr. Otake at the link which appears below this video.